Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith, and welcome to my review of the new film, Beauty and the Beast. I call it a film, but quite frankly, it's an epic adventure. With a budget of $160 million, Disney has spared no expense in remaking this 1991 film into a live-action movie. And you can see by watching it, it was worth every penny. This movie is just visually phenomenal and I really enjoyed like the, the the wonderful sets and the wonderful design that this movie brought now of course if you don't know the tale of this movie is pretty simple we've got a prince who isn't the nicest guy in the world and he crosses the wrong woman who casts a spell on him turns him into a beast don't you know and now he's banished in this castle and he's all by himself all of his friends are turned into different objects around the house and basically he's told that for the spell to be lifted he's got to get a woman to fall in love with him a woman to fall in love with a beast could this be well enter bell played extremely well by emma watson not hermione anymore and not hermione for a long time emma watson probably one of the top younger actresses out there absolutely nails this role the only problem is is that while bell and the beast are kind of get to know each other there's the evil Gaston, played extremely well by Luke Evans lurking in the shadows. Yes, it is basically the animated uh, movie retold as a live action film. So a couple of things I will tell you about this movie. When you're doing a movie of this magnitude, you want to get a director who knows what they're doing. Enter Bill Condon. Not only did he oversee the last two Twilight movies, which tells us that he can do like the big epic type movie, but he also directed Dream Girls, which tells us that he can do a musical. This film was very entertaining. The only issues that I had was it was a musical. That wasn't my issue, but I didn't love all the musical numbers. The first musical number just blows your mind, and then after that, they're okay. Um, however, if you're taking kids to this movie, the kids are absolutely going to love it. Um, and I think some of the adults are going to really enjoy it as well. Um, I said it before, Emma Watson is so fantastic. I think she's so underrated. Um, great performance from her in The Bling Ring, as well as a great movie that you probably didn't see called Colonia, both after her whole Harry Potter stints. But this movie is going to be one of those films that's going to add to a never-growing resume of great movies. So I definitely, definitely recommend that you go when you check out Beauty and the Beast. I give this movie a B. Like I said, visually it was fantastic. Story, it was decent. Um, the acting of Emma Watson is fantastic. And let me tell you, there are so many cool cameos in this film. Uh, don't go online and check. Just take my word for it and be surprised like I was. Uh, so a B for me from this movie, again, good grade, good movie, check it out, let me know what you think. CFL underscore fan on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier and Witty Whittier.com. Thanks so much for checking this out. My name is Keith, and I'll see you at the movies.